Okay, y'all. Um, let's see. Where do I start? Where do I begin from? Okay, here's what's going on. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know if you can tell or not, but um, I've got the distributor for the the free V6, the 239 that I got free from a friend Kelly. Uh, he thought of me and gave me this, gave me the uh, an engine and a transmission, which I am extremely grateful for. But um, I'm getting it set up to run on points. Here's my points distributor. In a previous video, I went through this distributor and set it up to run on a V6 with a V6 points cam, with a six cylinder points cam, actually a slant six points cam. Okay, so um, this distributor cap, so this is all a kind of a Frankenstein deal here. <laughs> um, so this is a LA318 distributor, okay, points distributor. And then I've got, um, I've got this, um, I've got this cap on here. This is for the 239 V6. Um, this cap is. I'm just looking at this uh, little tab right here on the bottom of this, uh, the bottom of this, and I'm kind of wondering if I can turn this son of a gun around and I can get these, these latches here to line up. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Now, um, this, I've got this all set up to run here. You see the district, see the distributor shaft is, is chucked into the drill and, um, I've got the coil wired up here. I've got a ballast resistor right down there, as you can see. And so here's my wire here. I'm going to hook this up, and we're going to see if we can make this thing do what she's supposed to do. I think we can. So, um... Mm, I don't know if you got to see that or not. This whole setup here is kind of irritating because I'm trying to like hold the camera. In. Ah, you see that? <laughs> Ain't that great? So great. Okay. Let's see, can we get? Let's see if the. Ah, see, that's another that's another indication that you that your coil is good, and your points and your condenser is good. Okay, now the points I I sanded them and I set them. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I got a little dust in my throat, but I set them to sixteen thousandths. Okay, so um, although this, I'm just noticing this tab here. Earlier, I mentioned it. But I also thought that maybe this might be for, you know, if somebody uses this on a big block, you know, this vacuum canister. So who knows? There's a series of numbers right here. I can probably run those numbers and tell me. Sorry, I had to get something to drink. Okay. More good news. Um, I went earlier today and I went to my little junk pile and I got this distributor out um, this one has been outside in the elements for quite some time um, if something is like frozen or solid frozen solid on this thing and doesn't work I wouldn't be surprised I'll tell you what let's go over here where I can set the camera down and I can possibly work this distributor and see if I can get Yeah, I can't work it with my hands. I can get this to move. I can get this to move, but inside here, this is all, it's not frozen up, but it's its not easy to move by hand. But this has got the uh, little, yeah, this has got the little port where you can oil the distributor shaft. I was talking about that the other day in my previous video. So, anyway, I'm going to, uh, I've got, like, uh, deep creep, seafoam deep creep in this, all over this thing. So I'm hoping uh, I can get this thing apart, clean it up, and get this thing to working a lot better. 
So that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. All right. Uh, enough of that. Let's get you all. Um, let's get out here and let's get to working on this V6. Okay. So I do apologize for the glare, but it's the time of day. And uh, furthermore, we got to get. I've got to get a bunch of stuff hooked up on that V6. I need to get a few little things done to it before it's, see, it's actually sitting out there on a trailer right now. So I've got to get a few things done before I can uh, fire it up. Oh, I want to, uh, while I'm thinking about this, I want to tell you that not all, whoo, that thing's, that ballast resistor is a little warm. Not all of these are the same, okay? So you don't just walk into a parts store and say, hey, give me a ballast resistor. There's a lot of different variations on these. And they're rated by the amount of, of resistance they have. Okay? So I tell you what. I'm going to get my multimeter. I'll hook that wire up. It's unhooked right now, but I'll hook that red wire up. And we'll see how much resistance it cuts down. But they are not all the same. Alright? So, so that you know. Um, let's see, it might be easier to get in the other side. I've got my truck kind of pulled forward and my multimeter's inside my truck. But yeah, there's the, let's just walk out here. I'll show you the V6, the 239. Yeah. So here we have, here, we, here it is. Here's the 239 V6, as you can see. Um, we've got just your basic this is your basic la throttle body injected uh la based v6 engine uh why i'm saying la is because light a and uh, the uh this was based off the 318 okay so that's what this is it's based off the 318 it's just two cylinders removed um so what we're going to do is i'm going to clean the I'm going to do a little cleaning on these exhaust ports here. Get some manifolds bolted on. Probably have to find a couple of bolts and some nuts. Do the same thing over here. And I'm going to put that points distributor in here. And um, I'm going to get that, that one of those two barrel carburetors. And I'm going to put it on there. So maybe tonight I'll have this thing fired up. And run it a little bit. I don't know. Maybe not. But we'll see. So. Okay. Let's go get the multimeter. Oh yeah. Side's too close. My fault. So, anyway. Okay. Alrighty. Go. There's my multimeter. I'll just hook that up and we'll see how much voltage it cuts down, how much resistance it has through it. Although I could also ch check it on ohms as well. Um, let me set you all up here just a little bit. I really need two hands to be doing this. Okay. Let's see. Oops. All right. Okay. Wow. Oh. All right. Okay. This is about a 1.5 ohm. Yeah. Yeah, 1.5 ohms. That's what this, what that ballast resistor runs at. So, okay. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Tell you what. We'll just hook this up here real quick. We'll see how much voltage it, it literally cuts down. 
get that on voltage. Set this all up. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So. All right. Okay. All right. So. Oh boy. Created my. Got myself into a little mess here. Okay. Some wires tangled up. That's no big deal, though. Okay. So let's see. At my battery. I got 1190 volts, so I'm down a little bit on voltage. 1190 volts. And so let's see what I've got on voltage going to the distributor. Okay, so let's see. Got it coming in. See, I got the, my test lead. I got 1173, 1174 on my positive side, on the incoming side. And then I got 11, and then I got 6.78 on the outgoing side, going to the distributor. And I mean, sorry, really to the coil. Sorry. Yeah, really going to the coil right here. So, anyway, so you can see what I'm talking about. I may have to change batteries out. Okay, but anyway, alrighty. Had a little disruption with my dogs out there. They're out there having themselves a little fight, disagreement. I'm sure if you've got dogs, you've probably dealt with the same thing at least once or twice. Okay, um, so. Now I'm going to unrig all of this. I'm going to get this out of the vise here. And I'm going to set this all up on that V6 out there. Okay. So I will go ahead and get started here. And let's see. All right. I'll tell you what. This, I know this is not fun to watch. So I'm going to pause this video right back okay y'all I'm back um, been running the plug wires here just to make sure where they go I went ahead and yanked one of the valve this valve cover off over here to make sure that I am on compression stroke I've got my timing indicator on zero down there let's see yeah I've got it on zero up here I've got both intake and exhaust rocker arms on all the way up. The valves are closed. And I went ahead and pulled this spark plug out. Used a little piece of plastic to go down in there. Probably can't see it, but the piston is at the very top up there. So, okay. Um, went ahead and run my plug wires. As you can see, I still got to put that plug back in the number one cylinder there. Um, haven't removed the this distributor yet, so I'm getting my adapter put on here. So, um, and my adapter is actually standing up right there, the piece of wood right there. So, I'm just getting these all my studs into this here let's see okay yep got a little trash down there in the intake not much but just a little bit so I'll show you what I'm going to do to get rid of it See that? Let's just smear that around, make it nice and sticky. Okay. 
Okay, got a little bit of it. Yep. So, there were some bigger pieces in there and I got them out earlier, so. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some pliers. I'm gonna run these down a little bit and see if I can get them to go on down just a little bit more. That way I can go ahead and be putting my adapter on. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this distributor out. Plug wires are wired up, so the distributor needs to go ahead and come on out. And so, a little hole down right there. Okay, well, there's my oil pump. There's where my oil pressure is going to come out at. I need to get my dipstick in here to make sure I've got any oil in that thing. I don't know if it's got any oil in it. So let's go get a couple things here. Let's see. Gonna need some pliers. dipstick down right here I don't know where the dipstick is for that engine so I'm just sort of like kind of going off of I'm just gonna st stick this dipstick down in there and just get a reading and make sure that there's some oil in the engine before I go turning it over if I could get this thing fired up tonight, it'd be great because there's no manifolds on it, so it's going to be quite the show in the dark, or the dust, anyway. Let's see. I'm trying to do this one hand, everything one-handed here, and it's a little bit difficult. Of course, Gorilla Tape is unyielding. They named it correctly, that's for sure. Okay, dear Gorilla Tape, you have an excellent product. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get some sort of reading on the on the oil. Let's see if there's anything in there. Not hardly anything. Okay. All right. Although the sump is at the very back, but let's see. I don't know if Kelly drained the oil out of this engine or not. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get you all set up here just a little bit. I'm gonna remove this thermostat housing, or this ha this right here, and get my selfie stick set up in here so that you all can see exactly what I'm doing. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, y'all. Um, back. And we're here on the 239. As you can see, I've got the adapter on. I've got a carburetor mounted on there. Um, I believe this is the carburetor that I had on the 360. Um, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm just going to be honest with you folks. Um, if you're going to do this, <laughs> don't use pine, okay? Try to find some oak or something like that. Because uh, this son of a gun, I started tightening it down and it cracked on me. You can probably see the crack right there. Um, I've got it sealed up, but yeah. So, uh, there was a whole lot of hassle just getting the, uh, getting the adapter to work. Uh, as you can see out here, it's dark. Uh, I've been working on this for quite a while to get everything squared away. Um, I've got my coil wired up. I've just got to hook up the battery, and I think I'm going to, uh, I may just set the valve cover on there for now. I just want to hear this thing pop off tonight. And then tomorrow I'll be like putting manifolds on it. And, you know. Ooh, I'm going to probably put a little oil in it tonight too. Okay. All right. Um, I've got plenty to do. So I'm going to get all of those things done. I'll show you a little bit more here in just a minute. Okay. 
oh, I don't know if I told you or not, got the points distributor in here. It's going pretty well. Um, I don't have the vacuum in advance hooked up right now. Like I said, I just want to get this thing, I just want to hear it pop. I just want to hear it do something. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it pop. I'm going to make it make some noise. So I'm going to hook up this vacuum gauge right here. Now I'll tell you what. I don't think it's all that important tonight. So I'll just set that over there and I'll plug this back off. Okay. So here we go. All right. Um, let me get uh, get this valve cover on. Got the plug back in. I got to put these two plug wires on, and uh, then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay. All right. Be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all. Got the valve cover back on. I got some oil in the engine now. I'm just letting it drain out of the funnel there. Um, I've got my battery cables on. I've got to tighten this ground down here. And uh, so, is this the right side on it? Uh, of course not. Okay. So, like I said before, I just want to hear this thing pop off and uh, tighten this ground cable down. Yep, that's good. Okay. I brought another battery with me and just in case I needed another one. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to try to set you all up here a little bit so you can at least see something while I'm doing this. But I do just, I do apologize for the shaky camera work here. Okay. All right. Okay, so we gotta get Okay. Yeah. I have. Okay. Yeah, I know I don't have manifolds on it. Okay, it'll be alright though. Just wanna get it. Okay, be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I've got everything wired up. Um, as you can see, my adapter is leaking like crazy. So uh, maybe we can just get this thing to pop off here, okay? Then I come up with some better adapter because obviously that one's not gonna cut it. All right, here we go. <laughs> of fuel here. Oh man, I'll tell you what. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to set y'all down. I, it, this is like really hard to do one-handed. Okay, all right, here we go. I poured a little more gas down the intake. The car. <laughs> worried about the 
starter or the battery. <laughs> read it a little bit at least have it facing me hmm. okay well we're making good oil pressure that's good put a little bit of oil in this I didn't it didn't have any oil in it so you know Alrighty, yeah, I would just like to hear it pop off once, you know what I'm saying, so. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Got two or three gallons in this jug here, and it's hard to manipulate. advance here, don't I? Let's go back a little bit. Mm. Way too much. It's been a long day, folks. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's been a long trying day. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. What a day. So, here we go. I'm going to pour a little more go go juice in the carb here. Probably should have had like a smaller container, of course. Oops, I think my battery is about done. I think it needs to have a some time on the charger all right well we got it to pop off that's what i said i wanted to do so all right i got the thing to pop off uh, wow i just cannot tell you, i cannot tell you how much work i put into getting this this mess to work but the fact that i'm getting this this distributor to work is pretty big to me so anyway um of course, I need a lot more work right here, <laughs> getting a carb to adapt to this. Uh, not to this piece of wood, but to the intake. So I'm going to be 
banishing this thing to the scrap pile, the burn pile, because I'm going to burn it. <laughs> but I'm going to, because uh, it's cracked. And it's leaking. It's not sealing at all. But I'm going to try to come up with something, maybe a piece of aluminum. <sighs> maybe, uh, uh, yeah, maybe a piece of aluminum or something like that. That, uh, you know, maybe a, an adapter for some other kind of setup that will, I can make it work on this. I don't know. Maybe I can get with a local machinist and tell him what I'm doing and then show him and everything. And he'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Just when you don't have any kind of lathe or mill or anything like that, uh, coming up with something like this with, you know, I don't even have a drill press. Okay, folks? So, yeah. But, anyway. All right. So. I guess the takeaway here is uh, don't use, don't make your own wood adapters, <laughs> uh, at least not out of pine, okay? And uh, if you do make them and you make them pretty good, contact me. I might buy one off of you, seriously. So anyway, uh, this thing runs. This is a runner, uh, but I've got to do more work. So I've got to get like, I've got to get manifolds on it. I've got to get you know, a better adapter for sure. So anyway, all right. I thank you all so much for watching. And I've got like a mountain. I'm sorry. I've got a mountain of stuff I've got to put away here. So let me get to see you all or you can see me. Anyway, yeah, I've got a mountain of stuff I've got to put away. Um, and uh, I might enlist one of my kids. So, but, this is a runner. Oh, let me clear something up here, okay? You probably figured it out, but this is not the cubic inch size here, and neither is this. This is like a production number or an assembly line number or something like that, okay? That's all that is. That's not like the actual cubic inch of the engine, you know, 955. I mean, are you serious? Yeah, so, okay. Um, yeah, I think they started doing that in like the, the early 80s or so. But anyway, all right. So this thing, this is going to be a runner. Um, and it makes good oil pressure too. So, I mean, that's a, that's a big plus for me. Um, so I thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you got any questions about this, especially about the distributor, <sighs> uh, you know, feel free to post your comments down below. Um, I do realize that, you know, some of this stuff looks very hodgepodge, uh, you know, but this is like just getting it running here on the trailer. That's it. Okay. So, anyway. All right, thank you very much for watching, and uh, God bless. Have a great one.